Okay, I think I just had this realization <clears throat> listening to uh, Paul Manerclay's talk with Kale Zeldin about uh, the Pope and, P and uh, Jordan Peterson, and they brought up the Kathy Newman point, and they said they brought up just the Kathy Newman illustration. They said which was I can't remember. Were they talking about which was peak Jordan Peterson when he's when he did Kathy Newman, like when he when he slaps back or claps back, or when he you know, what, what, where is he best? And, uh, this gets into, um, <laughs> this gets into, it's like a little tick of this, this corner of the internet. But, um, so the Kathy Newman thing, I think what is interesting about that moment, this is my realization or what I think is true, is it wasn't so much a gotcha moment. It was, a Jordan Peterson being honest and authentic and listening and then asking the right questions in a moment of dialogue or or debate made someone realize their false self. I think that's what it was. He made Kathy Newman realize that she was not who she thought she was and that she was lying to herself and playing a game. And he pointed that out and I think it was convicting for her and she was trapped. No, I think that's what was truly happening. I don't know that she, she would articulate it that way or say it that way, and I don't know that most people have construed it that way, but that's what I think was going on. He, um, he, I th and I think you can only do that somewhat in love, and he said right away, gotcha, but I think, but it was playful. I think he was being loving. He wasn't really trying to win. He was uh, just being honest, and it pointed out her own, uh, divided man or or duplicitousness she she was not united against herself and she was playing a game and he pointed that out and it was a moment of revelation and transcendence and that was great that's what it was i think